بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه فمن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين رضيت بالله رب وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا رب أعوذ بك من همزات الشياطين أعوذ بك رب أن يحضرون ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم I think <clears throat> the high-profile statement from the coalition headquarters, the People's Republic of La Ilaha Illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, at this point in time, has to make clear something, and that is. The language, the language, the vocabulary of two international, one being the English language and another being the language of the Qur'an. I'm going to use the language of the of the Quran term to help. Obviously, one can state that the little basis of it, maybe the mirror, and it's clear right now. People without people who understand Arabic, but the Quran is not one of their strongholds tend to get lost in the meaning of the Qur'an, but it does not happen the other way around. People who have really mastered the language of the Qur'an, they have no problem with the uh, basic Arabic or classical Arabic. So, I want to put that forward, but I want to say something about this English language. This English language, I want to say something very, very, very strange about it. A lot of us are going to really jump up and not believe what I'm about to tell you. The Arabic language compared to the English language is the difference between truth and falsehood. This Quran is the truth while the English language is falsehood. How is that? And this is probably where a lot of us are going to not come to the realization that our true means of freedom, our true means of liberty, our true means of success, our true means of developing that in which we have been entrusted with only comes from us speaking the language of the Qur'an. It only comes from us thinking in a way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subscribed in the Qur'an, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subscribed us to and it for us, his creation, al-jinn wal-ins, is the Qur'an. Therefore, think about something. Those who have migrated or or, migration should be used to the United States, to the Western Hemisphere, They go for this English. And everybody will say, yes, we are going, after we pray, we're going for our dunya. And they go, they spend the time in their dunya, and they will tell you, we went to the shopping, and then took the kids, and then we went to the gym, and then, yeah, we had coffee, we 
them to the restaurant and, you know, oh, well, I didn't make it. I made it at home, you know, and so on. The next day I woke up, you know, fajr at the place, the center, the center, that center, this masjid, that masjid, and I went to work, yeah. And I was there with my co-workers, you know, some of them, you know, they drink or whatever it is that they do, we don't care, we just work, we're following the dunya, the dunya. And then time to pray, well, I might, but even if I do, uh, I just might make it at home. That's between me and me and my maker. So then I'm going to go back to this routine. And I can prove that this routine is a valid routine. Somehow, some way, I heard it on the member yesterday. Just saying. So what do we hear on the member? We hear the members, on the members, we hear an understanding, a proper understanding of what you were citing as much as you can. There we have it. And it sounds nice. Have the proper understanding, have the, you know, the true, uh, 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 sincere desire and intention. Have it the best you can. Have it the best you can. Do X, Y, and Z the best you can. Continue on this route the best you can. The best you can. The best you can. It's like a beat, beat, beat. And everybody, you know, not everybody, but majority of people who are listening to these khutbas, it's unfortunate. Like, first of all, the topic is taqwa in this particular in this particular uh, khutbah. And, and, and by the way, he's my dear friend. I love him dearly. I want the best for him. Him and I go back 30 years. 30 years, childhood friends. Uh, and this is very important for us to understand that discussing logically about our deen is our success. It brings us together. Shaitan despises it, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it and says those who do, they will be under the shadow of his afsh. Allah accepted from us. So, but listen carefully. The topic is taqwa. Practice it the best you can, the best you can, the best you can. Okay. First of all, the first question, do you know what taqwa is before you practice it the best you can? You're going and speaking. See, the, the problem is that the way we speak is the way we behave. And the way we behave, obviously, is what shapes our character. But look into what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the character of Rasul wasalam in the Quran. Now, taqwa, do you know the elements of taqwa? Most of those who are sitting in front of you have no idea what al-Islam, the shahada, this bond of allegiance to Allah, even how to spell it. And you are telling them to practice something that is beyond their elementary level understanding. But what's worse again is that as much as the lack of Quran there is in our communities, and there's no doubt about it, 99% of the Quran does not reflect on the actions, the behaviors, and the activities of Muslims in our society. And you accepted that. All Muslims, with the exception of, I'll give it 2%, 
understand 99% of the Quran. 99. So why are you neglecting to A, explain taqwa? That's the first thing. Why are you neglecting to explain taqwa? And B, why is it that you're refuting when the Quran is presented? This is how we are. <clears throat> we human beings, we incline ourselves to not accepting the truth, but still being on righteousness somehow. Still being in the grace of the creator and maker. So, you don't explain the taqwa. What's next? Next, you also say that, and this is a very big one, you also say that we should be, let's make sure we get it straight. So, <clears throat> text sent to yours truly, so my dear brother says to me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I give you a special gift. <clears throat> this is after sending the khutbah. Well, actually, he sent it at the same time. Keep teaching the books of Allah like you've always done. Well, um, only if you knew, um, but best we can. Don't get yourself involved in anything that can compromise the most important thing. In parentheses, teaching the book of Allah. Okay. Um, stop attracting unnecessary and unwanted attention to yourself. Focus on teaching the book of Allah. So we got books up there. Keep teaching the books of Allah. Like you've always done down here. It's the book of Allah. So we don't really know. Are you talking about the books? Are you talking about the book? Are you talking about the Quran? Are you talking about Tafsir ibn Kathir and the like of that? I'm not sure. Then we have stop attracting unnecessary and unwanted attention to yourself. Okay. I don't know if we agree on that, but let's keep reading. Focus on teaching the book of Allah. Sure. Khairukum in Arabic, man ta'allam al Qur'an wa allamahu. Don't let anyone or anything else get in the way. Barakallahu fikum, my beloved brother. The end at the down. Okay. The English language is so false. Respectfully. Uh, when we are in, first of all, I reject anyone or anything that wants to associate me as being the sole founder in any way of this call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am only conveying a message. I'm only conveying the message. Now, stop attracting unnecessary and unwanted attention where do we get this from? <laughs> so, I had to ask for some elaboration on that. But the end part, that's horrible, unfortunately. Um, my response directly, I know who's coming. I say to my dear brother, you're a big Salafi. <laughs> what are you talking about? Be specific. What is your concern? And so, let's see. He answers. What does he say? Text message. I forget what he says, so I gotta, um, I gotta listen to messages. it. Basically, what I was referring to, brother. Okay, so this is what he's referring to, brother. I gotta pause it because, yes. So <clears throat> this is where it really gets somewhat out of hand. He says that he wants 
the videos in which he's been receiving not to have content that is going to draw attraction. Attraction to Islam is basically what you're saying. This is the issue. But the fact that you're practically indoctrinating, realize it or not, the idea to be fearful of other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala itself is shirk. And if you have the traces and the elements of shirk, then you most certainly and definitely cannot have taqwa there too. So it's obvious you don't, you can't explain, and this is not, as I mentioned to him, it is not an individual. It is an entire system. This educational system, this method, this means in which our, our khatibs and those who are in somewhat leadership roles in our societies, they've been educated falsely about the practices of the Qur'an. They don't practice. They just up on the members talking. You think it's impossible? It's been happened. It's been done before. You don't know during the time of Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu and Mu'awi ibn Abi Sufyan. You don't know that they were they were using the khutbas back then. That back then in the time of the biggest fitna. You do not know that. It's not impossible. You are up there. You're talking about things to people who have elementary level, and you yourselves actually do not have better than high school level of, 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 of Quranic practice and understanding, and then you want to stand up there and, and make it seem as if you have the perfect way, and if it was the perfect way, we would not be where we are, where people cannot spell La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm going to dissect the remaining messages because this is already too much. And we want to say, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ We don't want even a single friction or a single penetration in anyone. We're not here violently, we're here peacefully, we're here for Al-Islam. This is a civil revolution. You worried about authorities other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come for me when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has returned that in which he has given us. He has returned it to us this morning and yesterday morning. If he wanted, he could have taken it away. Who should I be fearful of? And what does he tell me to do? What does he tell you to do? And why are you pulling away from it? This is another point. This is another point. So if you come with these, be afraid. Be afraid of what? Be afraid of other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is another form of shirk. This is another form of association, of deviating from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. You think that this da'wah is, is a calling to me. It's not a calling to me. And it's not a calling to you either. It's a calling to the creator and the maker. It's very sad. But it's the reality. Everyone who thinks that there is Qur'an and Sunnah and they truly believe that, ask themselves one question and one question alone. Is it possible that you deviate from the Qur'an and you're with the boundaries of or you justify it with Sunnah? Is it possible that you go away from what the Qur'an clearly states and then you're able to justify it with sunnah? Is that even possible? 
You cannot we'll go from one perspective without solving the station that you left. This is the issue. So for the past two days on this one topic or on this one communique, we have been receiving more and more and more. And the reality of the matter is the more we receive, the more it proves that the English language that you're counting so much on when we when you came here, before you even came, it was the English, English, English. Now you're here. Now it's this English, English, English. You're using it. And even the words that are uttered from it, you're putting it definitely in a way that it is not putting you into the first category of Surah Al-Baqarah. It is not putting you in that first category. And we're telling you and everyone who is of these Iblisi ideologies because they're based on lies and falsehood. And I'm not the first one to say that the English language is false compared to the truth. Because English language itself has a lot of filthy names. It itself is called a lot of filthy names for, a very, for very valid reasons. So, listen, I'm go- and I told the communicate, well, I communicated through and specified directly that this would be a topic. These khutbas, unfortunately, they are false. You don't know how false they are until you begin to dissect. When you start to look at how or what is used to present evidence, you find lies in their khutbas. You find lies in it. And since you find lies, the truth and the lie cannot be together. So if you continue to follow it, then you are definitely rebelling against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. It's that simple. And again, we are not angry other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. But we are thankful for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's advice to the entire ummah. The entire ummah. Al-Sini is what the Sahaba said to him. And he said to him, La taghdab. Advise me, he said, his companion. He said to him, Do not get angry. Again, Al-Sini, advise me. We want the example, we want the directives of Rasul wasalam. He said three times, do not get angry. Do not get angry. So, what do we use? What is he really concerned about in his initial text? He's concerned about the military terms that we use. And this is a very important point. This channel is a channel of Quran. This channel is Muhammad Gambia channel. Muhammad from Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is whom we named this channel after from the Gambia. And this channel is also a YouTube entertainment channel. The reason why 
We have no matters, no problem with any authority directly or even indirectly. We have no problem. This is a civil Quranic revolution. And definitely we outlaw in our movement of the people republic of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Absolute injustices, unfairness, criminalities of any sort. However, we're not going to stand still and idle when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us by the Qur'an to do otherwise. We have our responsibility as Qur'anic practitioners. We have our responsibilities as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, when we know what our orders are, we follow. How can we not? We must follow the orders of Allah, the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is wrong with you when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you order? You do not, you do not follow this order. Who do you think knows better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who can do better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who do you count on other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone? It's very simple. There is absolutely no way that we can justify going along with those who think otherwise. We cannot do that. You adapt the language, the character, the personality of a party and you become them. Even if you're still going to, 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 to masjid and praying, you become. This is exactly what this ayah says. But think and understand something. That your your behavior, your character, if it's not changed by your by this salah, it's proof that the salah is in, is, is not valid. It's proof. Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam himself said so. But the point of the matter is that the entire ummah to their own this may, under these circumstances, they admit the falsehood that is being practiced by saying that Muslims don't follow the Qur'an. They themselves are saying it. It is not something that just everybody or anybody is saying. They themselves, you yourselves are saying it. And then it's going to be a matter of well, we're still following Qur'an and Sunnah. Is that, is that fair? Is that right? So, you tell, and you make the statement and the assertion that the, the attention upon, you know, which you are concerned, you're saying you're drawing attention to yourself. Again, first of all, the English language, we will say, give you that. But you and I both know that this has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with how we should be feeling in terms of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is absolutely no way that this would be appropriate because Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam would not do it that way. He was a warrior. His companions were warriors. You want us to walk around as warriors, we can do that. But we say that this is a Quranic military. This is a Quranic military. Definitely, we are going to refer to the military terms. We have the commanders, the junior, the senior, the attaches, the brigades, we 
stand firm on the consideration in which the spiritual forces of the People's Republic of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have co- confirmed 100% something that you cannot deny and we are stating that it was most certainly needed. It was needed because of the fact that our youth have been denied of their identity. Males have been denied of their masculinity. As a society, as a whole, you have been led to disbelieve in equality. You have been led to support inequality and injustices. This is exactly what you are doing when you do not stand for the entire truth. Every last one of us comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to him and to him alone we all must return. We cannot stand by whilst There is so much work that needs to be done on an intellectual level. You have made clear on an intellectual level your words intellectually. But I tell you, certainly at an industrializational level, once it reaches there, the capital of the Iblisi forces will, will fall, most definitely. Al-Islam is all peace, perfect peace, entirely peaceful. Even as, yes, the secret agents, they came to find out what we were doing, and we showed them, all we have is the Qur'an. They, they, they got upset because (laughs) this is so peaceful this is so correct what are we even doing here we should be finding bad guys people who are trying to rob the federal bank we should be this guy this guy and his like what in the world when it comes to the perspective of living even if it's done in fear of any other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that individual, that party is no longer free. We have been commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count on Him and to rely on Him. And if we do that, we are satisfied completely satisfied we are totally without fear of any other than him neither do we have any worries in this life as well as in the hereafter there is let's see now there's more I have listened to yourself. If you have any sense, you should be very afraid about the biggest crime you committed against Allah and His Messenger. He's going to go on. You really have a problem. You are a confused, deranged man. Thank you very much. That really need both mental and spiritual help. Well, okay. <laughs> Please listen to yourself. Go all over the place with your empty baggage. You are making a mercury out of yourself. Mercury, huh? At the end of the day, you choked and couldn't utter the Prophet SAS sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Give him the authority." Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him very, very sad, you really need help. 